Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Taurus. We're just going to see what gets, comes up, and at the end I'm going to pull a couple of oracle cards, but what do we have for Taurus? What's going on for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now, in the next few weeks, what's going on for Taurus? Four of Pentacles reversed. That's good, okay? Somebody's opening up. Something is opening up. This is sharing, giving. Ooh, the hangman reversed. This is, this is a new perspective. You may be opening up. You may be opening up to a new perspective, Taurus. No longer hanging on. Aha! No longer, I'm not hanging on anymore. King of Wands reversed. Hmm. No ambition, no desire. Four of Swords reversed. Well. Hmm. Eight of Cups, looking for something more, right? No longer hanging on to whatever it is that you've been hanging on to. Letting it go. Four of Pentacles reversed, it's letting it go. I ain't hanging on again. Somebody is letting go. Letting go. Realizing that whoever you were dealing with was self-centered and egotistical and unrealistic and unreasonable. It's like you're looking at this person who... This, I mean, the King of Wands reverse. This is somebody who is self-centered and unrealistic. This is somebody who is unreasonable, conceited, controlling. Wow. Interesting. Leaving that behind. Hmm. Ten of Pentacles, focusing on a f something bigger. Ten of Pentacles, this is a completion that leads to something better. It leads to something more abundance. Hmm. Ooh, avoided a much bigger disaster. The tower reversed. You have avoided a much bigger disaster. This is a blessing in disguise. So there's there's been some sort of ending of a relationship. You may have realized now, because this is realizing with the Haim, you may have realized that this is an absolute blessing in disguise. Yeah. That's what we got here. I think that you guys have came to your senses. It's like, damn, I am so lucky. I am so lucky that I am able to walk away from this. Knight of Cups reversed. Oh my goodness. The star blessing. Yes. <laughs> Next to the tower. Whew, somebody may, it's like this is your unanswered prayer. This is thank God for unanswered prayers. That's what this is. That is exactly what this is. This is realizing that this emotional disappointment, this emotional loss that you were holding on to wasn't meant for you. That's what it is. It's realizing that. You were dealing with somebody whose ego was humongous, humongous. This person was only focused on how it looks to the outside world. They weren't focused on love, okay? They were focused on the looks of things. But it's the end. It's the end of that, that idea. It's the end of that thought. That's what the Four of Swords is. It's like, I've avoided a much bigger disaster. Thank you, Lord. So there's been a lack. There was a lack of wish fulfillment. At one time, you were probably praying. You were probably wishing, wishing for this to not fall apart. Wishing for this to be stable. Wishing for this to be secure. 
wishing to not be isolated. You were probably wishing for that at one time, but now we have a change in perspective. That's what this is. This is this is letting go. The Four of Pentacles reverse. This is letting go. It's opening up, letting go of regret, letting go of stagnation. I see things differently now. This wasn't real love. That's not what love is. Being controlled, being manipulated, manipulated. Yes, you've become clear. You've received the clarity. Seven of Cups reversed. So it looks to me, Taurus, as though you've, you've become clear. Things have become clear for you. The illusion, uh, the romanticizing of who you thought this person could be. It's like that. That's that's now you realize it's real now. It's like, damn, that was just who I wanted this person to be. That's not who this person was. I think that's what you realize. This is realizing. Okay. When the hangman is in reverse, they're no longer in a state of confusion. Okay. And this is a no longer in a state of confusion. The state of confusion or the state of illusion that you were in is no more. It's like, I get it. I'm awake. I see. I see that this was a false sense of security. I see that this was a false foundation. I see that this just was just for looks. I see. I see. So I feel like you guys got yourself into a relationship with somebody that, you know, really loved bombed you. This is like a narcissist right here. Okay, somebody who loved bombed you. They came in, they showered you with all kinds of love and then left you. They left you hanging and you hung, right? You hung for a long time. But now you're seeing things clearly. That's what's going on here. No longer reciprocating. Six of Pentacles. No longer putting in any effort. No longer trying to give to the situation. Aha! Could be dealing with a Capricorn now. Now, you know, I feel as though you are probably tempted. You're probably tempted to go in a different direction. Maybe you are. Maybe you're getting some desires met. Maybe you're focusing on getting your desires met. I don't know. I feel as though... I mean, the devil, this is an unhealthy situation. I think that you guys were involved in a unhealthy situation that at one time... You thought with the star reverse was a dream come true. But it was all based on ego. It was all based on pride. You were dealing with somebody who it was maybe maybe you were dealing with somebody who uh, was unstable and insecure with themselves from the very beginning and their need to control was so big that it overpowered the whole relationship. Anyway, I feel as though in your environment right now, this is in your external environment uh, area, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, you could be dealing with somebody that is very, you know, alluring to you, somebody that is very, um, something that is very attractive, put it that way, Emperor. Could be Capricorn, could be could be an Aries. Whoever this person is, this person is, whoops, the boss. This person, uh, that's funny, that whoops, whoops. This person is um, very dominant. Absolutely, this person is very dominant. This person is, um, has everything in order. This person is strong. This person is protective. This person is... Uh, a leader. This person could be a boss. This person has a lot of experience. This person is uh, very wise. This person is calm. This person is um, more the settling down type. Okay, this person wants to settle down. This person does is is um, does have a little bit of a spontaneous side. 
Okay, this person d does have a very passionate side, put it that way. Um, it looks, yeah, that's number four as well. Looks as though this person is here to protect you. This person is very attracted to you. Queen of Cups reversed. Two of Swords. <sighs> Avoiding in denial. You may be denying this person. Queen of Cups reversed. It. You may be like, you don't want this. You may be blocking this person. You might not be letting this person in. You know, with the Queen of Cups reversed next to that Two of Swords, it's like this person wants to take care of you. <laughs> and you're like, huh, no, I'm not looking for love. This is what it looks like to me. The Queen of Cups reversed. No, I don't have anything to offer. I'm not, I don't. Protection, the Two of Swords. You're in protection mode, right? You don't, uh, you don't want to, you don't want to get yourself involved in anything. You're restricting yourself. You're trying to avoid. You're trying to avoid, uh, I think you're very tempted though. You are very, very tempted to let this guy in. You're very, very tempted to let this guy help you and take care of you. But there's something that you are just refusing to allow, okay, with the Two of Swords. You're refusing. A free, uh, refusing to open your heart to this person. If you are the female watching this, you are refusing to open your heart to this person. If you are the male watching this, you are dealing with a female who is refusing to open her heart to you, okay? It's like she wants it. There's, there's, there's definitely a sexual attraction here, a deep one, okay? There's a definitely attraction. There's probably whatever there is. There's there's, there's uh, sexual attraction or, or sex or something like that. But there's avoiding, avoiding like getting my heart involved, okay, with the Queen of Cups reversed. I don't want to get myself involved in anything false. I don't want to get myself into any false foundations. Like, I don't want to build any foundation here, okay, with the Tower reversed. It's like, no, no. So this is not really reciprocating, not really giving to this person. It looks like you have an Emperor here. It doesn't matter what sign this person is. My guess is it's a Capricorn or a... Aries, could be anybody else, could be an Aquarius, could be a Scorpio, you could be dealing with a Pisces Cancer Scorpio, you could be dealing with anybody, but um, we have Pisces up here as well, we have Pisces Cancer Scorpio here, we have Aries Leo Sagittarius here, um, either way we have some sort of restriction, we have some sort of refusing, I refuse, I refuse to open myself up. I refuse to allow, you know, my heart to get broken again. Okay. So if whether you are the male or the female watching this, we have a female here that is afraid. She doesn't, she doesn't really want to give her heart away. And we have a male that is trying. This male is really trying. He's trying to get her to unblock. He's trying to get her to open up. He's trying to get her to, uh, appease you know he's he's trying to woo her okay he may be uh you know he's really trying to woo, woo her really really hard he's very attracted to her um and he's probably falling in love with her so uh yeah yikes so what is this um this is love this is love so the ace of cups this is love So, <laughs> this is avoiding, avoiding falling in love. So Taurus, uh, you may be avoiding it. You may be avoiding anybody, letting anybody in. Okay, you may be in the. You may be trying to avoid letting anybody in. Um, you definitely have this deep attraction with somebody, and I feel as though this could lead to love. It could lead to a happy home. It could lead to stability. 
this person is a protector, this person is stable, this person is very secure, this person um, has a lot of uh, life experience, this person is uh, not looking to build any sort of false foundation. Um, this person is, uh, well, let's talk about this person. The world feels incomplete. This person um, might not want you to go anywhere, might not want you to, to leave. He might, this per the world reverse doesn't want this to end. This person doesn't want this to end. So this could be a business owner, this person could have their own business, this person could be a manager or a boss or a foreman or something like that. It's like this person, I feel like whoever you are dealing with, um, especially if you are the female watching this, may want you to, doesn't want this to end. This person doesn't want this to end, so they may extend some sort of love to you. Okay, they may, they may even, I don't know what this is, but they may even... I don't even know. I don't even want to say it. But anyhow, um, whew, my eyes are wide open, put it that way. They may, I mean, the Ace of Cups, that's love. That's love. That's intimacy. That's compassion. That is a new start in love. Okay. This could even be a reconciliation for some of you. It could be a reconciliation or it could be new love. Okay. So this is new love. This could be somebody that comes into your life. If there isn't anybody in your life now, somebody could come into your life. Okay, somebody that is at a distance, even somebody that lives in a different part of the world or a different part of the country or who knows what. Um, I feel like whoever this new love is, it could lead to a happy home, foundation, stability. But I, there's there's a feeling of I don't dare. I don't dare. I don't. I don't want to give my heart away to anybody. So it's like blocking, blocking love. So I think that you have somebody around here that wants you to give them a chance, and you may be, you may be needing to really open up and see things from a new perspective. So take this how it resonates. Um, I feel as though um, you may be thinking about relocating the Seven of Pentacles, and whoever you're dealing with may not want you to. Um, there may not be any growth. You may feel like there's no more growth wherever you're at and it's time to go someplace else. You may be you who have made your decision. This is the decision has been made. The decision has been made with the seven of cups reversed, um, to walk away, to leave. So, hmm, it feels as though we have somebody here that is, a, is probably going to do something. This guy has a plan. The emperor always has a plan. Um, it could be any sign, so keep that in mind. This is somebody who makes a plan and then takes action to follow through with his plan. Um, this is, has to do with love, with the Ace of Cups. So, however this resonates with you. Um, yeah, let's get, a, let's get a couple Oracle cards. Something is about to open up. And I think it's about to open up. It starts right here. It starts with you not hanging on to something. It starts with you letting go of something that you have been hanging on to. It's like you decide to let it go and boom, something else, you know, comes to into fruition. Something, you know, that's what the seven of pentacles is. So something else just blossoms. Interesting. One card for Taurus, please. One card for Taurus. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Well, that's interesting. It's true, because that's what we got up here. We got somebody here that decides to let go of something. They go through some sort of awakening. They realize that whoever it is that they were holding on to was a narcissist or whatever you want to call it. You know, somebody who was self-centered and egotistical. And then, then you know, they decide to let go. It's like, you know, I, I make my decision. And if the decision gets made, I'm not going to give any of my anything to this situation that was, you know, 
Prince Charming in Shrek, Knight of Cups Reverse. That wasn't really uh, love, okay? That was all fake from the get-go. Somebody gets that realization, and it's like, this is a blessing in disguise. Thank you, Lord. You start having gratitude, and when you start having gratitude, that's when the real stuff comes in. So that's what we have here. Here it is. Abundance. That's what happens when you have gratitude. All right. So, yeah, let's read that one. You're about to receive some abundance. I see it. Whether you can give to it or not. Well, that's a whole other story. Um, <coughs> to harvest a plentiful bounty, we must wait for the cycle of growth to be complete. Come on now. That's what I said. You start by letting go and boom, here it is. I knew it. I did. <sighs> to harvest a plentiful bounty we, bounty, we must wait for the cycle of growth to be complete. Patiently nurturing and removing obstacles as they arise will allow the fruit to ripen to achieve the best yield possible. It's funny, I said the, the seeds that you planted a while ago, the fruit. I mentioned it. After the harvest, we begin to see the rewards of our efforts flow back to us in abundance. You are about to achieve success. You have been working so hard of late and you are going to be rewarded for all your efforts. Remember to thank the Lord right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You are about to achieve success. You have been working so hard of late and you are going to be rewarded for your efforts. Acknowledge your achievements. It is important to remember that worry only creates distance between you and your success. It is only when we begin to trust the universe and the creator that everything is received in divine timing. Hand your concerns about money directly over to source in the universe. You will receive assistance to remove obstacles that may be inhibiting your ability to assess abundance in all forms. Planning and organizing your finances and assets are essential during this harvest period. Settle financial matters while you have the opportunity. That's crazy because that's exactly what I've been doing. Setting aside a portion of your income to assist you through the winter months and prepare you for the season ahead. It is your birthright to live an abundant life. The harvest reminds you that while you wait to receive, you must acknowledge and show gratitude for the opportunities presented to you. God, I can't make it up. You know that I can't. The celebration of a season brings the completion of events. It is time now to sow new seeds and begin the next growth cycle the, this is it. You about to start a new cycle, Taurus. The universe and creator will always provide you with what you need, not always what you want. I tell you what, you may have wished for something, and you can be thanking God for those unanswered prayers because you are about to receive something much much, much better. An abundance. The ultimate abundance. Look at that. It's beautiful. Thank you.